Even though controller support is better than ever in PC gaming, there are still some games you either need or straight up better with a keyboard and mouse. But what if you want to play on a couch or in a home theater setup instead of at a desk? There are a couple solutions out there, but nothing quite like the combo of Corsair's new Lapboard and K63 wireless mechanical keyboard. This isn't Corsair's first attempt at a lap board. They also have the lap dog, which is wired and uses an external power source to work properly. It was a bit bulky and heavy and wasn't ideal in certain situations, especially compared to the new K63 lap board. Now we have something that's light, compact, and wireless that doesn't sacrifice the quality we come to expect from high-end gaming keyboards. First, let's cover the K63 keyboard. It sports a 10 keyless design, which means it ditches the number pad for a smaller footprint, but it still has super useful dedicated media keys. This keyboard only comes with Cherry MX Red mechanical switches, and lucky for me, it's my favorite switch type, but you'd be out of luck if you're not into the smooth, linear, non-tactile keystrokes. Blue is also your only color option when it comes to LED backlighting. Since this is wireless, battery life is a big question. Thankfully, the K63 holds plenty of juice in its built-in USB charge battery. We spent about eight hours in total using the K63, and not once did we have to worry about charging it up. Granted, we set the backlight brightness to the lower preset most of the time. Corsair states that on a full charge, the K63 lasts up to 15 hours at full brightness, 25 hours on low brightness, and 75 hours without backlighting. This keyboard connects wirelessly through the 2.4 GHz USB dongle that is set to offer one millisecond response time, and it can connect through Bluetooth. The package includes a palm rest with a rubbery silicone texture that snaps to the bottom. This is also how you snap the K63 into the lapboard attachment, which is the real reason why we're here. It fits into the lapboard effortlessly, and two latches help keep the keyboard secured. You should note that the K63 is the only keyboard that fits into this lapboard. As for the design of the lapboard itself, there are rubbery silicone textures at the palm area, but aren't quite positioned right. My palm tends to rest atop the plastic parts, but it's not much of a problem. A cloth mouse pad is built into the lapboard and offers slick and accurate tracking. I wouldn't replace this surface since I much prefer cloth mouse pads, but if you want to use your own surface, you can, since it'll grip onto the lapboard easily and stay in place. For those that are used to larger mouse surfaces, you may need to adjust to the smaller size here. Of course, comfort is one of the more important aspects, and it is not overlooked in the lapboard's design. There's a dense memory foam at the bottom, and it makes it comfortable to have on your lap for long sessions. And thankfully, this thing isn't very heavy at about five and a half pounds. An important thing to note is that there aren't any USB pass-through ports on the K63 or the lapboard, so you'll definitely need to pick up a good wireless mouse to get the most out of the setup. Going with this setup isn't going to come cheap though. The K63 itself costs 110 bucks and the lap board goes for 60, but you can buy these together for 160 and save yourself 10 bucks. And as mentioned previously, if you don't have a wireless mouse, you'll have to factor in the cost of that as well. It's the price you pay for quality and convenience. Overall, Corsair is on point with this pairing. The K63 itself is a great mechanical keyboard on its own and it's wireless to boot. With Cherry MX red switches and dedicated media keys, I couldn't be happier with the 10 keyless design. And when you pair it with an expertly designed lap board, you get the best solution for PC gaming on a couch or home theater without resorting to a gamepad if you're willing to shell out the dough. We're continuing to cover the latest in PC peripherals, so stick to GameSpot for all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.